Praise the Lord, everybody. We are out here in Wildcat Mountain at Cave Mountain Lake. Uh, it's in the Thomas Jefferson National Forest. And I want to read the 46th Psalm. It's one of my favorite Psalms. It says this, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. If you if you're here and you're looking at this wildcat mountain, to take and, and pick that up or shake it and move it all the way over to the sea would be quite a feat that only God has the power to carry out such a thing. Though, therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. And of course, that word Selah means pause and think about this. It says, There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he has made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the world, unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen, I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. What I get from reading that psalm is a sense of absolute utter peace that wafts over me as I just know that no matter what's taking place around me, though the earth would melt, though the mountains shake and be carried to the midst of the sea, God is in control of my life. He's in control of the circumstances that have to do with me. And I rest in Him. I trust in Him. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my ever-present help in times of trouble. God bless you today. Angie and I are going to go a little further on up the trail, and we'll see you later on. Bye-bye.